So, in this session we will cover formatters and inline expressions. So, let us take a look at the agenda of this presentation. So, here we are covering the formatters overview, then we are covering the implementation of that formatter itself, then we will cover the overview of inline expression and how to implement inline expression. And at the last we will cover the example where I have mentioned this how to implement formatter and how to implement inline expression through a video. So, let us just move on to the next slide here. So, here we can see the overview of formatters. So, formatters are used to convert more technical representation of data into human readable text. So, they are used to do more complex operation of the data itself. So, SAP provides some standard formatters for example, SAP UI core format dot date format and plus we could also use custom formatters and to use custom formatters we have to create separate file maintained for this purpose and here we are maintaining formatter.js file which is maintained in the util folder or we can maintain it in the model folder also. Let us just move on to the next slide here. So, here we can see the steps for implementing formatter. So, we are implementing the custom formatter and for that we, we have to create formatter.js file within the model folder or the util folder itself. So, here I have made a folder named as model and in the project directory and then we, we, we have made, made a file named as formatter.js inside the model folder. And next, we have to mention the formatter in the controller itself and when we have done that, we have to use it in the view. So, these are the three steps where we can use the formatter in the view itself. Now, here I have explained an example where I have mentioned the formatter in the controller. So, here I have given my path here for the formatter SAP slash my app is my namespace and model is the folder's name and formatter is the file that is formatter.js. And here I have mentioned formatter is formatter itself. So, this is taking from here itself. Now, moving on to the next slide. I have mentioned what is inline expressions. So, inline expression is nothing but an enhancement of SAP UI5 binding syntax. So, these are nothing but just one line of code that could replace the use of custom formatters if the requirement is such as. And it allows the provide it allows for providing expression instead of custom formatter as I just told you. So, generally it is used for trivial implementations like comparison of values. So, if a particular value is greater than something value, so it should give a particular value. If it is less than a value, and it should give another value. So, generally it is used for comparison of values itself. And it can be directly applied in the XML views. So, we have an expression binding which is specified using this expression, expression and it is in an XML view we can use this. So, there are some predefined statuses like success like error and critical. So, these are some of the predefined statuses provided by SAP UI file. Now, let us just look at how to implement inline expressions. So, first in as I already told you inline expressions are generally one line one line syntax itself and to use expression binding you need to enable complex binding and that we can do in the index.html file. This is the index syntax for this. So, we have to set it to complex so that the application could know there is complex binding involved in this particular application. So, this is an example here. So, I have created a list and mentioned the number state property as this itself. So, number state is so invoice is the ID of the model or data model that I have taken. So, here I have mentioned this particular syntax this denies that we are using the expression binding and here what is doing what it is doing here is that if the extended price value is greater than 50 it should show the error state if it is less than 50 it should show the success state so this was an example of how to implement inline expression in sap ui 5 so with the help of an example we will just see the example of custom formatter and here we have mentioned the scenarios the first scenario is if the weight measure is in grams, we have to convert into kilograms and if the weight is less than 0.5 kg or 5 kg or more than 5 kg, we have to show an appropriate message. And the, to achieve this custom formatter, we have this following steps that is to create a new formatter.js file in the mod model folder and to define a variable in the controller. And last, we have to use the formatter in the view itself. So, we will achieve all these steps in the practical demonstration.
first we will discuss about the concept of inline expressions and then afterwards we will discuss the use of custom formatters in SAP UI5. So as I already told you inline expressions are just little small lines of code which would replace the use of formatters. So let's just start with it. So here is my web ID and we will be using this demo project too where we have already populated a product list. I will just show you the output here. So this is the output and now to use inline expression what I will do I will just write we will be using this inline expression in the number state property. So I will just show you how this number state would show up in the output. Number state it generally takes these four values that is success, error and warning and none something like this. So there are four values that we could give. So here I am just using success. So what it would do is so the output here the it is coming in black. So if I just write it success the output would come in green. And if I just write it as error or something like that then it would come as red. So here it is coming green. So this is success. So here in this number state we will be applying inline expression. So let me just tell you how it would work. So, so suppose this value is 20. So if the value is greater than 250 or something like that, 250 we will uh, maintain a threshold value and if the value is greater than 250 it would appear in red that is the state would be error and if it is less than 250 it would appear in green. So if I have to apply a inline expression that would check a particular condition here. So let us just copy this line. So this is the number state. I have pasted it here. So here the price is here. So based on this price that is this number, this particular number and it will take the value and if it is greater than 250 it would show an error state this is for true state and this is for false so if it is true then it will show an error otherwise it would show success so let's just save this and again run this so if the value would be greater than 250 it would show a red so here we can see this value is greater than 250 it is showing red that is error and other are green so this was one use of number state or maybe inline expressions. So there are many uses, usage of inline expression. I am showing just one. So hope you are clear with this particular scenario here. So let's just move on, move on to the next in ne next concept that is use of custom formatters. And for that purpose, we will be using first status and second status. So this is. I will just show you here. So here you can see in the object list item there are aggregations first status, second status, attributes. So we will be using first status and second status. So in the first status we will map these values. So this is my OData service that we are using. And here we, you could see there is this weight measure and weight unit. So we will be mapping both these 4 and kg. So in the first status, first status would appear something just below here the number unit and second status would appear below the first status let me just show you here I have to write the code for first status So here it is. This is the first status and within the first status I have used object status and object status property is this text where I have binded weight measure and weight unit. So I will just save this and run again. So first status would appear here. So here it is. So this value is the weight measure and this is the weight unit. So both have binded. Now what we will do? 
we will apply formatter for these values here. So suppose a particular value is in gram, it will convert into kilogram and this would I will just show you here. So this value, this, this is lovely sound 5.1 wireless, here we could see the weight is 80 and the unit is gram. So we would convert this value to kilogram. So this is the first use of form formatter that we will be using. Another one is this. If it is less than 0.5, it would show a message. If it is less than 5 kilograms, it would show a message. And if it is greater than 5 kilograms, it would show another message. So this is under use of custom formatters. We will be applying here in the custom formatter. So there are basically three steps to define a formatter, to use a formatter. One is to create a formatter.js folder file in the model. Second is to define a variable in the controller that we will be using here, the view one. And the third one is to define the formatter in the view here. We will be using the formatter in the status. And for that first let's just create a formatter.js file. So I have created this. Now we have to define it in the controller. For that I will just use my namespace that is demo project 2. So there is some error. We will just solve it afterwards. Then this was my namespace. Then I have given my folder as model, then to formatter. So that's it. And here I will just give the na alias name that is formatter itself. And Below this, I will just write formatter. And that's it. So we have given the na uh, namespace here. And then I have given the alias name. And then I had defined the formatter here in the controller. So I will just save this. So this was the second step. And here in the view we have to define the second status where I will be define using the formatter. So here is my second status and you could see here this is the object status. I will just make it clear. So we are giving two parts here that is weight unit and weight measure and both these parts are enclosed within these parts. So if we, are, we were only giving one path we would have not given the parts since we are using two parts here we are using this parts here and within this we are using our formatter and we have given this as the name of the formatter is delivery. So now I will just save this. And within the formatter.js file here, we will mention our code. So this is our formatter.js here. And I will just def um, make you understand. So within this module, we are defined nothing. And within this return, we are de defining our delivery here. So this we have used here itself, delivery. So this should be the same and within the function we are giving two parameters that is s measure and i weight and we are declaring our variable as none. So now if the s measure is in grams that is this particular value that is weight measure is, uh, weight unit is in grams then what it will do it will just convert it to kilogram with this logic. So divide by 1000 and it is getting in 
I wait. And if the I wait is less than 0.5, it would show a message that is weight less weight is less than 0.5 kg. So if this particular weight here, this much, if it is less than 0.5, it would show in the second status a message that is this one. And similarly, if the weight is less than 5, it would show this message. And if it is less than, otherwise, it would be more than 5 kg, it would show this message. And this message is returned here. <coughs> so let's just save this. So everything is done. Now if I just run the program, the second status would appear with the particular message. So here it is. So the message is popped here. So this particular weight here is less than 0.5. That's why it's showing me this message. Similarly, if there are any other messages, it would show appropriately. So you could see here, previously we mentioned this particular product here and its weight was coming and it is now less than 0.5 kg. So this particular, everything is properly done here. So I hope this concept is clear to you. This was the custom formatter that we have used in the project and we have also used inline expression with the help of this condition here. So that's it for the, this video. Thanks for watching.